In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I am showing you how to add a lightning magic effect to a part. This is the most real looking lightning and is the best way to achieve this in Roblox. In the last video, we were almost complete with our speed boost skill. And the last step is to add a cool effect to it. And what could be better than lightning? Okay, first let me show you that this effect can be easily modified like this by changing a few settings. Therefore, it is very useful and easy to get different effects with it. As you can see it uses the particle emitter in Roblox Studio. Since we can attach this to a part, we potentially could use this as a magic attack, such as a lightning fireball, or simply just throw a bolt of lightning at the target. Our use for it today is to enhance our speed boost, to make it look like the player has lightning speed. Let's get started. If you followed my previous tutorial on the speed boost, you can add the lightning effect to the blue ring, which is what I'm going to be doing today. If you didn't follow the previous video, that's okay. You can apply this to any part. Move the part we called speed circle from server storage to the workspace. Click the plus sign next to the part and add particle emitter. Click to select the particle emitter and add these settings. For texture, add this URL as shown on the screen. Click into the color box and then click the three dots inside this so that we can add a color sequence. Follow what I do to add this sequence. Next to size, click the three dots here as well and make this sequence. It doesn't have to be perfect. Try and get it close to what I am doing though. Change lifetime to 1.5. Change rate to 25. Change rotation to 0, 0,360. Change speed to 0. Change emission direction to bottom. Set light emission to 1. And light influence to 0. That's looking pretty good. Have a play around with the settings yourself to change the effect slightly. We still need to add a glow to this. But let's give it a quick run first to test what this looks like. I'm just going to move the speed circle to server storage. Yeah, that's not bad. If we add a glow to this though, it will look much better and leave a trail behind the player as they run. Okay, move the speed circle back to the workspace, and let's add the glow effect really quickly. I'm just going to change a couple of settings first. Like I said just play with these until you get the effect you are looking for. Okay, now let's add the glow. Click the plus sign next to the speed circle part, and choose particle emitter. Call it, Particle Emitter Glow. Add a color sequence like this. Change Light Emission to 1. Change Light Influence to 0. Change Size to 4. Change the texture to this URL, as shown on the screen. Click the three dots on transparency and add this sequence. Follow along and do something similar to me. Change lifetime to one. Change rate to five. 
Okay, almost done, let's add some point light. With the point light selected, change brightness to 3, change color to light green, or white. That's all the settings completed. Okay, I just loaded up my other game, which has the first version of this lightning effect that I did. I'm going to test it from here, so that I can show you the settings I had on this one. In case they were slightly different, although, the effect just might look better, because I have the camera over the black car park. Let's run it from here and see. That's looking awesome. I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching it till the end. Stick around and I will show you the settings on this version. So you can copy this one exactly if you wish. I will quickly show all the settings for the two particle emitters and the point light. Just pause the video to take note of the settings if you wish. This is the God of Coding and Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.